Condolences have been pouring in for traditional Hida Ainele Hoyana, who was bludgeoned to death in a farmhouse in East London at the weekend. Hoyana was murdered on Saturday by a 45-year-old farmer, Fritz Majeke Uber, with whom he had been staying along with his wife and children on a farm near Konubi. Oyana was training Hubert to be a sangoma, and a, tradition, a, a traditional ceremony was underway at the time. Hubert was later shot dead by police. In a Facebook post in the early hours of Saturday, Hubert gives a tour of his hot farmhouse and tells a camera he is a chosen one. He then refers to Oyana as Satan and threatens to punish him. Oyana is seen holding one of his children. In other videos, he is then slumped on a chair and then lying on a wooden deck outside with his traumatized wife nearby. For more on what some have said is a bizarre and horrifying incident, we're joined now on the line by Anela Hoyana, his brother Olue Tu, who speaks to us from East London. A very good evening to you and thank you so much for speaking to us, uh, Mr. Oyana. What is your understanding of what exactly took place? Good evening, Tatiswa. Um, look, we are not very clear, but, uh, you know, I received a call on uh, Saturday morning, early hours of Saturday morning to rush to uh, the farm next door to our family farm. And uh, on arrival, the police were obviously, at, you know, combing the scene, the forensic team, and so on and so forth. But to cut a long story short, so I was eventually allowed uh, to identify the body around half past 12 uh, in, the, you know, in the afternoon. And uh, under the head, as you said, correctly reported, had been bludgeoned uh, to death with a, a rifle. He had uh, counted probably about nine gashes on his face meaning that he sustained serious head injuries. Um, obviously, with the videos that are circulating, we get a, we get a sense that Fritz um, was known to Anele very well. Uh, like I said, he is our neighbor, or he was our neighbor. Um, and com was completely deranged, uh, you know, during that morning. Mm. Um, and there's also no sign that Anele did put up uh, much of uh, uh, resistance to whatever, you know. Uh, but after he said, he obviously carried out what he had said he would do and held the, uh, uh, Anele's uh, fiancé and the two children hostage. Um, the fiancé managed to escape and uh, went for help, and he kept uh, the two-year-old three -year -old boy and the two-week-old son uh, of Anneles um, in his room upstairs and obviously continued searching up until two police officers uh, came, and these police officers were known to fit, and they were able to, well, they tried to negotiate or reason with them, and um, after distracting him, one police officer was able to take uh, the two children out of the danger zone. And the Fritz then tried to wrestle um, the one police officer's firearm. Mm. And uh, they obviously um, wrestled and fought over it. And the, the police officer... Um, who was actually uh, at the scene when I arrived, reported that he had no choice but to defend himself because Fritz was, I started overpowering him and uh, and was trying to actually, you know, shoot him with his own firearm. Well, Roy, to allow me to come in here and say, mm. I mean, obviously we've seen uh, videos that have been posted on Facebook about three of them in total. And I think mm. it's the second video that he, Fritz, introduces somebody as, um, I'll, I'll, I'll try and find his name in just a moment. Uh, I forget his name. But uh, the question has been, who was filming all of these videos, including the one in which your brother 
uh, was being pursued and threatened. And the one in which was seen post afterwards, which she evidently has then either died or been badly injured. Yeah, well, there is a, a neighbor who was also on the scene when I, uh, uh, when I arrived that morning. Sabe Longaga, uh, that's the name that uh, has been reported. Uh, but yes, uh, certainly Sabelo, I forget his name. Yes. Um, yeah, Sabelo had, you know, he said he had filmed the initial videos because he had been called by Fritz to come to, to the farm. He lives uh, probably 500 meters away from Fritz's farm. So he did go and, uh, and um, you know, took those videos. Is and, this uh, according said, to what he himself has admitted to or you information that you've gathered or you're speculating? No, he has he has admitted to filming the two videos uh, prior where Anele is seen holding his son. Hmm. But he also says he you know, they were you know, uh, chasing each other or around the pool a pool table. And, uh, well, he subsequently left and says, he said to them, look, guys, you know, um, you guys shouldn't should be fighting or whatever. And he walked and left the scene. Now, the third video, which I have seen, is a very short video where Anelia Suyante is seen screaming and, uh, and pleading with him not to do this. Hmm. Uh, it apparently was apparently recorded by Fritz himself. So he recorded the uh, videos and he put them up on his social media. Okay. I'm told you there is a longer one where he actually is carrying out the murder, but uh, that was since removed, I think, by the SAPS from his social media. And, and in that third video, it, it, there is a male voice that is heard exclaiming as an in disbelief. So if Fritz was at some point Foaming that third one, would he have had an accomplice, so to speak? Well, I think it's difficult for me to answer the piece, and uh, I believe, um, you know, the police obviously got them before us, and mm. they are doing their investigations. Okay. I know that there's uh, about three cell phones which have been, which are part of the evidence uh, with the police. The worst the rifle that was used uh, to to murder my brother. Okay. And uh, and then I think other firearms that were found uh, in Fritz's property. Olu, just from your brother's fiance, does she give any clue as to what may have gone wrong? You say it's clear that the two of them knew each other, that your brother was training Fritz for um, being, or through that uh, ceremony of being a Sangoma. Uh, does she have any clue as to where things turned, how he then uh, started attacking him and threatening her and the rest of the family, including the children? Yeah, look, um, she obviously will have a clue to and she will have, you know, all the information we need. Uh, we, as a family, she currently is living with, uh, our, our, you know, with the family uh, on our farm with the two kids. But uh, as uh, I said, so this happened early hours of, of, of uh, Saturday morning. Uh, we spent all of Saturday, you know, half the day on the scene. The rest, uh, you know, in a family meeting and so on and so forth. We have not engaged uh, to ask what did happen. Uh, um, I, I think, I guess the feeling is that is maybe too soon too and soon, too yes. insensitive, perhaps, for her to go through that. I know that today she was uh, with the police and I did and uh, to lay her statement. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, in the next few days, um, you know, we will be able to probably get more information. All right. We are just trying. Yeah. Just on the issue of um, the ceremony itself, there is a policeman seen in the background as an onlooker as uh, your brother Anele takes Fritz through this. So 
are the police explaining why they would have been present? And secondly, there seems to be conflicting stories about how Fritz eventually died. You said they told you that um, it seemed the only way to protect themselves and uh, the children because he was getting out of hand, Fritz, that is. But are you getting a clearer story about their involvement in general? No. Well, uh, like I said, I mean, the videos are obviously a little bit too... Um, uh, uh, painful to watch. Mm, I, I can imagine. Have not, I have not personally, I, you know, personally have not really noticed this policeman that you referred to. I know that there were other people in the house earlier because they had been, uh, I think, you know, having drinks or whatever. And uh, it is not true that there was actually a ceremony on the day. Mm. I do, I, we are told by also the local councillor whom I spoke to this morning that there had been some kind of an event or something. Okay. Uh, uh, I think, if I'm correct, on the Thursday, wherein they were celebrating something that has to do with whatever business I think they were trying to get into together. Okay. That's the, the, the rough sketch of information that we have. Thank you very much for clearing that up and condolences to you and your family. Olue Tuoyana is the brother of Anela Hoyana who was uh, bludgeoned to death by an East London woman. Just two of you as we do apologize about uh, the sensitive nature of uh, that story.